Yes, giant bird! And it's coming right at us! Oh, no. Get away from there! Let go! I can't! Get down! Hey yo, what's up everybody, Holmes here and welcome to more Final Fantasy XV. Today we are going to be going on another hunt and this one is going to be for a giant bird that you may have seen in the beginning of the game. Prop, you should if you went through, um, you know, the beginning of the game. Um, but yeah, that giant bird, we'll finally get to fight it now. Um, this is going to be a, uh, a quest monster, so you're going to have to come over here. Um, this little town next to the volcano and um, get the hunt from the guy on the re uh, the restaurant dude uh, go to there and get the hunt and once you pick up the hunt you're gonna get another quest location and it's gonna point you towards the volcano area so we're gonna have to go through that area and it is a little dungeon so make sure you do that and after you clear the dungeon we are gonna fight the giant bird and here it is For another pack. We might have a choice. Let's go to legacy to enjoy us. Oh snap, the giant bird from the beginning. And so this is my first time fighting it, and I just wanted to drop down here because I wanted more room. Um that little spot that we were at, it was too small. So I was like, okay, if we fight him there, we're mostly gonna get wrecked because it's too tight. Um, but it seems like it doesn't. The fight doesn't trigger until you get down here towards the center, and then the bird drop um, drops down, and then now you can attack it. So now that's here, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm trying to like see if I can do some damage to its face, maybe like you know get a break on it or something like that. Um, and now I'm trying to get behind him to get a blindside attack, but I don't even know what happened. Like it just moved and I died. That's how hard a freaking thing hits. Um, yeah, it hits pretty freaking hard, but it doesn't have much health. So, you know, if you can manage to dish out some more, like, a lot of damage and manage just to not get hit, then you'll most likely survive. Gladio's already went down, had to use a Phoenix down on him. Um, yeah, and I was like, okay, he hits freaking hard, so let's, let's do a team attack here. Overwhelm, pretty good team attack. Gets your whole team to attack, and while you guys are doing it, um... It's you have uh, invincibility the moment the overwhelm attack is active. So that's what I'm doing and got some good damage in. This guy takes a lot of damage. It's like he just has a lot of attack but not much health. And right here I decided to use an elixir. And also on Ignis as well because he's half dead. Uh, which I don't really think it matters because if we get stepped on it's it seems like a one shot judging from what happened in the beginning. And now the bird takes off, and I'm like, okay, what's it gonna do? It's usually, I was already thinking like, usually when it takes off like this, it's gonna do a dive, diving attack, and there it goes, diving attack, which you can counter and drop them. The moment you counter it, it will drop them instantly, and you get this prompt to deal this much damage in a short amount of time. So I just use Armager and did the team version and. Damn, well, it's vulnerable. It does so freaking much damage. Look at that. It's already almost dead. And I just warped attack and freaking finished him off. And there you go. I don't know. This guy is so easy. Um, it's just that you just don't want to stay near its feet. Um, maybe try to warp attack on its face a couple times. But yeah, there it is. Jan Burr named Zoo is down. And this thing looks so fierce. Look at that thing. Well, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So I thank you all for watching. I hope this video has been entertaining and enjoyable. And if you all found both of those qualities to be in this video, then hey, stay tuned for more because there's going to be more hunts. But until then, I will see you all later. Homes out.